there's never been anything like the uh, World Juggling Federation. Uh, there's always been people uh, comparing different things, clowns competing with circus vest jugglers, and this is just the actual juggling uh, stripped down. It's a whole uh, different generation. When I uh, started juggling, you pretty much, we tried to do an act without jokes uh, for a while. We tried to do just straight juggling, but you always had to have jokes, and the juggling was always uh, in second place. And this is a, uh, it's kind of like, you know, when Eddie Van Halen hit the scene with guitar. Before that, you know, guitar was okay. You know, you had the fancy guys, but never was there a real showcase of impossible stuff like that. And here it's like a convention of, uh, you know, 35 Eddie Van Halens all doing entirely new stuff. It was just great to see and inspiring. Uh, everybody you see here uh, simultaneously inspires and discourages at the same time. You go, oh, I'd like to do that, I never will. Well, you know, you have the convention, uh, the competition that goes on in the other room, and that's really organized with judges and stuff. And then you've got the people all around here, I mean, hundreds of people coming from, and this isn't even jive, from all over the world. Mostly Russia, but all over the world. 
Good evening and welcome to the 2004 World Juggling Federation. Tonight, exhibitions from the World Juggling Federation competitors and two-time Olympic gymnast Lance Ringnall. And now, please welcome your MC, Scotty Meltzer. Some great juggling for you tonight. All of the competitors who didn't chicken out are going to come out here and preview maybe a minute, two minutes of their presentations. Balls, rings, clubs, diablos, boxes. Some of the hardest tricks ever attempted in a juggling competition. It's going to be great. The first presentation of a competition is a new kind of competition. This is the 360s competition. The way this works is each competitor has one minute to do as many 360s as they can under whatever their chosen prop is uh, without throwing up. Ladies and gentlemen, the competitors for the 360s competition. Best juggling team ever. And we've got the root berries. So. Another whole section of prop that had to be argued to get into the WGAF was Diablos. When originally people did Diablo, did just one Diablo, there was an argument among the uh, WJF organizing committee, and by that I mean Jason. <laughs> that one Diablo is not juggling because it's just one thing and you have two hands, it's not enough. At the point when people started doing tricks with three, he changed his mind.
Like the uh, like the action sports stuff, it's much different than uh, than any kind of juggling I've ever seen. There have been um, you know juggling festivals and get-togethers and clubs for years. I, mean, I went to my first one I think in 1970, but this is the first time I've seen it uh, as a sporting event.
one trick that you never actually finish, is that right? One trick that you didn't actually do right. You made one mistake on the four. Um, yes, I, I didn't just choose to go back to that one. When I threw it the first time, I lost it in the lights. Wasn't worth it. So every other trick you try, you tried, you uh, hit. Is that right? I would say so. Yes. <laughs> Did a perfect job. Beautifully done. We have the result for Leo James. He has a final score of five point eight. Five point eight for Leo Nicely James. Done. Thanks. I was having a really bad day, and it, like, <sighs> and it was so fast. It was like so short, and then it broke. I don't know why. I made Olga smile today on the picture. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look 
more comfortable with the five than you did with three, which is fabulous. Yeah. Now you're, uh, four, you're 14 years old? Yep. You've been juggling 23 years, is that right? Four, actually. Four years? What was the hardest trick you did out there? Uh, I don't know. Well, the first one was pretty hard. I mean, for me, because it's like the first trick on stage, so. Were you very nervous out there? Yeah. You're nervous waiting for your score? Yeah. You want to guess what it is? Mm -mm. <laughs> and uh, how did you start juggling? Uh, there was a juggling club at our town, and so we just had nothing to do with my brother, and we just went there and, yeah, and started juggling. But then the, the main guy there, he, he, he kicked us out. And so he said that I couldn't juggle. And he was like, Our, your hand-eye coordination is not good enough. So. We have his address. We can send him this tape. <laughs> I, I don't know his address, actually. If you can find it, I'll go over there and break his knees for you, if you want. OK. So we're ready for the result now. Olga scored 6.59. And the fast running Olga comes back to the stage to receive her, me her medal from the ever orange Bob Nickerson. Not bad, but pretty good. You held that seven for a while. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, what was the hardest move you did out there? Uh, the hardest one, probably the uh, three up out of five, the double spin, double 360. Did you hit it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> eventually. <laughs> okay, and Scotty's result is 5.49.
yourself there because you're going to see a lot of dropping in these competitions. This is juggling at a level you've probably never seen before. And at this high of a level, there are going to be mistakes. If a competitor is having an off day, their whole routine can turn into a total train wreck. And that's what we're all hoping for. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> train wrecks are always entertainment. Uh, under the leg throws every time, which makes you hop around like a crazy monkey. <laughs> His back crosses look good. Of course, remember this is three. The advantage should be seeing this kind of uh, stuff with five. A oh, lot of running around there. There's deductions every time he moves. There's a 360, three up, 360. Very good. Oh, that was a uh, 720 almost. I'd call that probably a 710 exactly. These are two nice club moves done underneath the high throw, transitioning into flat overhead, no spinning of the club at all. Very difficult to control those throws without spinning the club. More of that chin balance that the judges, oh, hop up, hop up to the head, <laughs> hop even further up the head. But uh, that hopping up is just not going to count for any points because it's just a trick with one club. Now the uh, heel kick will count because he's going back into a juggle end, but the little hoppy things. Just, oh, ooh. okay. Oh, that There's was great. There's the backflip. Uh, now the juggling wasn't that hard on that, but it, it was a very hard backflip. Every move of the feet, every arm out of position, every catch on the wrong end, all of those things are at least a .01 deduction. Yeah, well, with this scoring system, nobody's going to get a perfect 10 for a while. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you should have tried the super glue on that one, huh? <laughs> okay, a little bit of trouble with the four back crosses. Nothing but deductions there. They all went behind the back. One he caught on the wrong end, and he didn't keep juggling, so that scores him a total of zero points. But he's accumulated at least .05 deductions for all that moving around. Why don't you hop it up to your head and then kick it over the back? Oh, not with four. He's not going to do that. And he's posing. What's the big deal? What are you, a seal? <laughs> mm. And there he is with doing his five. That's not a bad five. His feet are moving around a little bit. Uh, and then he just, it's just a fancy catch. And a uh, bowling gets you absolutely no points either, by the way. Now, this is amazing right here. He bounces a club from one part of his face to another. Unfortunately, it gets him no points because that is a one club move and he doesn't use all three. Now that blind kick gets him points because he does that right into a three club juggle. So that's a three club start move. Nothing hit the ground. Hey, that's the point, isn't it? Yeah. And I don't think the judges even noticed the catches on the wrong end. They weren't even... Don't tell them. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thanks, they... Up oh, again. What do, you, what, do you, what do you think your score is going to be? Uh, how about a... Uh, five nine again, huh? Let's do it. And the result for Scotty is 5.07. Hey, good enough, huh? So, Scotty Cavanaugh wins the 2004 World Juggling Federation Intermediate Club competition with a 5.07, beating Ivan Cassell's 5.06.
Here we go. Yes. All right. Well, folks, tonight, as explained, we have three different competitions. Mm -hmm. The first one is a very exciting one yeah. that uh, honors one of the most unique and inspiring jugglers that we've had the pleasure to know. So right now, to help us understand a little bit more about the Sean McKinney competition, please welcome to the stage Peggy Roos. Peggy, here she comes. Right now, what we're looking for is the competitor who embodies Sean's energy and, and spirit. Um, that's what the judges will be looking for. Um, and those of you who knew Sean know what that means. Also here at the convention, we have Sean's DVD that is finally ready for purchase. And this, all the proceeds, every cent that made from this DVD will go into the Sean McKinney Memorial Fund, which will be used to, um, to purchase this trophy every year, to have this trophy cast so that we can continue this competition and continue to have Sean's style and spirit um, in the juggling community. I'm John Wee with The Passing Zone. I'm Peggy Roos, organizer of the Sean McKinney Freestyle Competition. We were two of the seven judges for this competition. We're now watching B.J. Joyer. Off to not the most smooth start, but a quick recovery. Good recovery, good Sean recovery. Here we go, he's coming out, he came out with Sean's attitude. Yep, acknowledging the audience. Yep. He's got a level of cool, but he's not too cool for the crowd. Yes. Here we go, here's some really good three ball combinations. Smooth. Yeah, he has Sean's casual style, definitely a casual dress. Mm -hmm. He's got the San Diego uh, Manipulation Society t-shirt on. That's always good. He's done his research. Uh, this, this trick definitely gets into Sean territory. Definitely. Sean would always make throws that were just a little too far away to get, and yet somehow he'd still get there. Yeah, that's it's just a joy to watch. That's what I liked about that trick with BJ is that he he used that that space purposefully, unlike some of the other competitors. Yep, some really nice body throws here. Yeah. It was a difficult competition to judge because you know we want people to have their own style and not just do an impression of Sean, right. and yet to capture. Sean's essence to capture what he does. Oh, this is a great trick. I like right that there. trick. That, see that? That's what we're talking about. That Sean would not have done that trick, but it's yeah, little, it's Sean's little, style. Yeah. That's good. Here we go. He's not getting flustered with with the drops, and you know the the part of the rules of the competition: drops don't count against you. Um, but he's using the drops in in a way that Sean would have. Look at how fluid all these moves are. You know, Sean often looked like he was improvising, and yet so much of it was carefully choreographed. Yeah. That's a nice trick. Is that called the, the piano? The typewriter? Right, yeah. I think Something like that. The laptop there computer. There's, there's, yeah, there's there the is. Sean look. Acknowledging the audience again. Here we go. Here comes the... Even different use of the body. I mean, to mm -hmm. sit and lie down on the stage... You know, whether it was diving or rolling, Sean was often on the floor yep, <laughs> during yep. his juggling. Taking risks, you gotta have the risks. You know, I, I, I really do want to see more specific Sean sequences, specific Sean uh, signature yeah. tricks. Yeah, it'd be nice but, to see some of his moves. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't want someone getting up there and copying a Sean routine, but I do want to see some Sean tricks. You know, BJ gets real close to, to some Sean sequences in here. There we go, that's the start of one of them. Um, but. One of the amazing things about Sean, watching Sean juggle clubs, is that he never seemed to care where the handle was. Mm -hmm. His clubs didn't even need handles. I don't know why he even bought <laughs> clubs with handles. He'd just throw them up in the air, and however they came down, he would catch them. I mean, things that, that most other jugglers it would, it would throw them off to not have the handle coming around. Exactly. He just never seemed to care, and it didn't seem to matter. Yep. He could, Sean could catch oh, anything. Whoa. Well. There we go, but there we go. Nonchalant. Once again, doesn't throw him off. This was a really fun competition to see all the competitors, different uh, different styles, different ways yeah. of, of honoring Sean's style. Yeah, four completely different styles, and yet all, all beautiful tributes to Sean. All very Sean-esque. That's a great That's trick right there. Really getting the audience approval. A little beyond the catchability <laughs> point there, but but again, it didn't right. keep his cool. Doesn't phase him. 
this trick right here. This this is the best one in the whole routine. I've never seen anyone else do that. I don't know if it's one that he invented or just seldom seen. But and he goes right into the to the leg. Yeah, nice combinations with it. No, oh, it would have been so nice to see if if he'd caught that, he would have won. <laughs> he, he did win, didn't he? That's, he did. He, that's right. he won, John. Yeah. Okay, he would have won bigger. That was just a, a nice routine. It really captured Sean's just, style, it, yep. his attitude. Everything, just all of it in a really nice little package. Essence, attitude. I'd like to see a little bit uh, fewer drops, but he really captured what we were looking yeah. for Sean, in his performance. Yeah, yeah, drops don't count against you, but yeah, we'd like to see some more tricks finished without a drop. Great performance by B.J. Joyer. Definitely. Good job, B.J. Nicely done. Great attitude. Did you know Sean? Oh, yeah. Sean was a good friend of mine. To emulate Sean's style is such a, uh, it's such a big thing to ask for because no one can juggle like Sean. Sean was just, I mean, he had such an amazing presence and amazing just ability to catch stuff that no one had any business catching. He, he threw tricks that you you can't, he couldn't catch that, but he did anyway, and it was, it was magic to watch Sean juggle. You did a great job, man. Thanks a lot. All right. Well, that was a tough, tough decision. Um, as, as Jason and I were putting this competition together, I, I remember joking with him, saying uh, the winner will be whoever makes me cry, but um, unfortunately, they all made me cry, so that didn't help. Um, and they were all beautiful, beautiful tributes to Sean. I, I think he, he would have been thrilled. Um, to have seen that. And I hope that all the competitors will compete again in the future, and I hope that other competitors were inspired by tonight's competition to compete in the future. Um, but the winner of the first annual Sean McKinney Freestyle Competition is BJ Joyer. BJ, you back there? There he comes, there he is.
your face, brooding o'er the oldest grace, the black to fill your son, the place and drug me to the burn. Grace and victory were sure, soon the fire burned you to cure, but till they met again, now you're picking the cue of iron. One thing I learned about box uh, box guys is you guys don't give up, do you? No. You <laughs> do a trick until you get it. How long have you been doing box? About 22 years now. And how'd you get into the uh, box stuff? Um, I like the mathematics behind it. And I could see, like 20 years ago, so many things that hadn't been done yet that I really wanted to try doing new things and show off where it can go. And is how, how, big a, how big a difference is it between the sport juggling with boxes and the entertainment juggling? Uh, this is just a three-minute act of just the hard stuff. No little fun things in between. I took a four-minute act and just cut out all the easy stuff. And then hard trick, hard trick, hard trick. And then put in things that I never even perform. What's the hardest thing you were trying out there? The very first thing I did where I flip up the...
360s as they can execute with all objects in the air. The four categories tonight will be three clubs, five clubs, five rings, and five balls. Time will start as soon as the first 360 has begun. The weird thing is normal people spin and then they throw up. Right. Jugglers, we throw up and then spin. And so it's a, yeah. a slightly... <laughs> Another thing that sets us apart Very from nice, normal though. people. Yeah. 15 seconds left. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> Time. seconds.
Ready? Touching each other. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Time. Sixteen. Sixteen. So uh, you were beat by Jason Garfield. I don't think you need a translation for that. You were beat by Jason Garfield. I hate Jason Garfield. <laughs> and you know, that's one of those phrases that's the same in every language. Yes, sir.
15.
time. No! Ah! Your goddamn 360s made me do. I threw up at least like twice or three times in my practices. Practiced every single day, timed myself until the leg that I was spinning in was so sore I couldn't even walk to the mall. And you know, I do that. And yeah, you just gotta go to the mall. Shit, hell yeah. Why don't you get a car? Huh? So, you know, I've been throwing up, I've been practicing my ass off, and then Volvo comes along from freaking Russia. I know I'm there from there too, but still. <laughs> You know, doesn't even time himself and gets like fucking what, 37? Two more than me, two more than me. And I got 37 in my practices, so you, know, you gentlemen should be like really scared of me. You know, I'm, I'm just glad I'm a girl. But I'm still uh, practicing too. You all lucky guys, I didn't practice a class this time. <laughs> Did you, uh, you won the rings, 360s. Did you? Yeah. Oh, of course. Of course. Who else would? <laughs> Then, next time I try to do more. My How many did you get? I did like 21, you know, like the day before I did 26, and I want to do 32. I did a double at the end though. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh yes, that's amazing. I did it before, but I didn't try this time. Yeah. Next time... Nothing but doubles, five up doubles. It'll be the 720 competition. Oh no. <laughs> Which direction, which direction do you do your pirouettes? Right. To the right? Yeah. That's the right way to do it. Gina turns to the left. Bad Gina, wrong. You turn to the left. Your pirouettes, you turn to the left. You do counterclockwise. Yeah, but you have to jump when you do it to the to the right. You know what? I'm actually I'm, right now. I will do more than you. Okay, yeah. Just one more time. More than I'll do how? Turning just turning just to the right. Left and right. No, just uh, just to the right. No, just to the right. There's no left. To the right. What, yes. One two three right. One two three right. I never did that shit before. I give you left and right. Well, that's only half as good. I'll still be
World Juggling Federation Championships from Las Vegas, Nevada. Today we're going to be showing you the very best from the Advanced Ball Competition Finals. I'm Penn Gillette, and joining me again is one of the world's smartest men when it comes to juggling, Ben Jennings. Thanks, Penn. Let's get started. Now, the moves you'll hear referenced again and again are standard moves that are done with different props and in different ways. Of course, 180s are always half turns, 360s are full turns, a two-stage 720 refers to two 360s separated by stopping and catching in between the first and last 360. Multiplex throws are two or more objects thrown out of one hand at the same time. This is that shower pattern. One hand is all the throwing, the other hand is all the catching and pushing over to the other side. If you do this move with only two balls, you're not really doing anything. Three balls or more, that's when juggling begins, and qualifying means making twice the number of catches as there are objects being used. To qualify with seven balls, you must make at least 14 catches, which is two times through the pattern. Okay, so now you know just about as much as I do. We're starting off the advanced ball competition with Jason Garfield from Los Angeles, California. I'm the best juggler here. But if I had to pick someone else other than me, if you exclude me and say maybe you're not, and perhaps you might want to pick somebody else, um, there's, there's different jugglers that I would consider to be the best here based on what uh, prop category we're talking about. So say in the ball category, um, if we're not saying me, uh, there would be, no, it's just, it's me. In the balls, it's me. The way I view a juggling routine, uh, mainly in competition, is that it's, you know, some people say, you know, it's, it's like meditation, be one with the objects. And no, no, it's, it's you against them, it's a war. They're constantly trying to beat you, and you're tr constantly trying to keep them from doing what they want to do. So they're trying to get you, and you're trying to keep them from doing what's natural, which is just letting gravity bring them to the ground, which they've had more experience with. So I'm trying to do something unnatural, and they don't really understand it, but they're very upset about it. So when I actually do pull off a routine with some level of success, it's a triumph, and I'm done with them. You know, we're not getting along. We're basically fighting, and the fight is over, and now get out of here. Now, this whole routine has a start value of 10, mainly because it's loaded with combinations, which get you connection bonus points, and he has some D and E level moves as well. Now this combination coming up gets Jason bonus points up the yin yang. The three up 360 into a five up 360 and then back into a three up 360 Perfect. gets a total of 0.5 points. That's the way you add up points on this. Oops, Oops. there's one drop there. He's mad. <laughs> <laughs> and he has ball boys come in and give him the ball there. <laughs> well sure, why not save your energy? Very nice connection from a five up 360 into overhead throws. Very difficult move. And he also gives an opportunity to see that he does shave his body, which I guess helps with those spins. He's more aerodynamically sound with no hair anywhere. Boy, this five stuff, I mean, this is what you want to see out of juggling. This is what the judges are looking for. He's really in control. Look at his feet. They only move when he wants them to move. He's had a few minor steps, but nothing that's just out of control. And all of his patterns are set up perfectly. Very nice five up multiplex 360. Yeah, you can tell the audience here is made up of people who really know and appreciate juggling. They don't need to hear me to know what's going on. And by the end of this show, you won't need me either. Ooh, a double 360. Yeah, that was a three up 720. And then immediately followed by a five up two stage 720. Beautiful. Excellent throws. Perfect re-entry into the pattern. <laughs> and he's still mad. <laughs> One drop and he's still mad. What I love about Jason's style is that once he... Whoa! Oh, man. I wanted to see him hit that. I hope he tries it again. That would be an E-level move if he pulls it off. Wow. There we go. Man. That's a blind catch out of five. All five go up. The first catch is made between the legs and behind the back at the same time. Most of you can't even stand in that position. <laughs> That's an E-level move that gets .2 bonus points just by itself. So now this is a very complicated shower routine. A 3-up 360 out of a shower and back into a shower. And then a shower under a shower. And then a double shower under a shower. And there's a shower under a shower under a shower. 
I want to point out again that his arms do not have to be that big to do these tricks. <laughs> of course. And I'll tell you, even Jason, even Jason seems a little happy. <laughs> he's going from five into seven. He's trying to act tough, but I think he's happy. A little trouble with seven here. Minor moving at the feet. And he's doubled the balls. Doesn't want to touch them a second longer than he has to. <laughs> Here's that E-level move, the blind catch. He catches this first ball between his legs and behind his back, while the other four are high above his head. He has to make that first catch and then come back up to spot those four balls before they drop too low for him to catch. Unbelievably difficult, and Jason gets .2 bonus points. Jason Garfield is the 2004 World Juggling Federation Advanced Ball Competition Champion, and he might still not be happy about it. But in the endurance competitions, Jason Garfield starts with 16 catches of eight balls that Thomas Dietz surpasses with 39 catches. But it doesn't end there. Since they both made it two times with the pattern, which is 16 catches, the event advances to the nine ball level where Garfield sets the number to beat at 18 catches, which Thomas beats at the last second is a lot of time with 25 catches of nine balls and beating Garfield in the ball endurance competition. Remember, that's nine balls by one person. In basketball, it's one ball with 10 people. And look how much they get paid. The 2004 World Juggling Federation Championships is brought to you by The Passing Zone, America's number one comedy and juggling duo at PassingZone.com.
thewjf.com for the very best instructional books, videos, and juggling equipment. Okay, we're back with the World Juggling Federation Advanced Ring Competition Finals. Coming up right now with Sergei Notov Jr. from Russia. Oh, you know, it's interesting, very interesting for me because uh, in Russia, only circus performer are a juggler. Is I did never seen you know people from out you know outside the circus are doing this for fun. Maybe few, but here is like I was shocked when I first came to the states. I was shocked because like they had like juggler st stores, magazines. You know, it's like so popular here. It's all about practice. It's not like a, you don't have a buttons to push and make it like magicians. You know, <laughs> some some magic tricks. You know, you just can buy it, push the buttons, and it works. Here is not. I don't have a secret, so it's just all about time, all about practice, of years and years of practice, you know. Okay, so apparently Sergey practices and I just buy things. <laughs> Sergey Ignatov Jr. from Russia. And right away, he's starting with that half shower that gave Jason so much trouble, and then right into a full reverse, as easily as Jason juggled the basic pattern. And then into multiplex throws. No one else does multiplex throws with rings. What do you say, Ignatov or Ignatov? He is the best ring juggler in the world. I like to say Ignatov, you know, because it's Nabokov. That's the way that's raw. Oh. Amazing. Shoulder throws with rings. No one has ever done this before. This is a truly amazing move. <laughs> and then right there with both hands at the same time. Oh, man. I tell you, it's Nabokov. Nabokov? <laughs> no, it's Nabokov. Okay, I love it when the rings spin like that. Perfect pancake throws. He's the best in the world at pancake throws. No one can do it this well or for this long. This is such a pretty trick and looks so natural, but it is a very unnatural act to the rings. They, uh, they do not want to go that way. This is really ring juggling at its best. And you can see a little foot movement there. You can tell he's trying really hard not to... Tap dance. <laughs> Sergey performs for a living and incorporates dance and other unrelated talents with his juggling. So that could only hurt him in his competition. He's really trying to hold back. And we appreciate that. Indeed. If you're putting on a show, feel free to dance and smile. But in this competition, all we care about is how well you juggle. He is really a pleasure to watch. Nobody in the world does this but him. And if you can, you better show up next year. The more competitors we have, the better. And now here's a new transition for Sergey. Two five up 360s in a row and then connected to a three up 360. Oh, he dropped? You know, um, I want to get a little bit of credit for myself here because I will at no time during this entire routine refer to Sergey as the Lord of the Rings. But he is the best <laughs> at it, there's no doubt about that. Again, trying really hard not to smile and pose. And then demands more wins. Oops, a little trouble getting the seventh ring. A minor error getting the ring from his assistant. Just holds that seven rings. I'm hoping he'll do a trick here, a little bit of walking around and all around his neck. And there you have it, the best ring juggler in the world, mother down. Look at that confidence he had that maybe Jason lacked. <laughs> Okay, now look at these throws. Everyone exactly the same, coming right up over his shoulder. I don't even know how he figured out how to make the ring fly so straight in his throwing position. And here's the pancake throws. Just look at it. Keep looking at it. Look at it some more. Okay, that's enough. Does anyone Does anyone else do the uh, the back throws? Uh, I never seen it before. Maybe after this competition, somebody will try. The score for Sergey Ignatov Jr. 9.65. Oh. So we have Chris Chiappini in fifth, Ivan Pacell in fourth, Jason Garfield in third, Thomas Dietz in second, and Sergey Ignatov Jr. in first place. But hang on a second. The ring endurance competition, Jason Garfield started off the competition by juggling eight rings for 21 catches. Thomas Dietz then tries to do better, but gets only 19 catches. So they both qualify to the eight ring level. The competition advanced to the nine ring level, where at the last few seconds of his time, Jason Garfield gets an amazing 18 catches. And check out how this works. 
Jason makes 19 throws here, but at the end he drops what was going to be the 18th catch, but catches the 19th throw before the 18th throw hits the ground. Since he made 18 catches before anything hit the ground, the 19th throw actually became the 18th catch, qualifying Jason at nine rings and winning the competition since no one else qualified with nine rings. But also he could have won if he just stopped at eight, but why rub it in? However, Sergey Ignatov Jr. is the overall 2004 World Juggling Federation Advanced Ring Champion. probably the world's best club juggler. No surprise, he's from Russia with clubs. Volvo Galchenko. My name is Vladimir Galchenko. I'm gonna win every division I'm in. There's no competition for me. Jason Garfield has taught me everything he knows, and now I know more. Well, he didn't have much to say, but he certainly thinks highly of himself. Let's see how he does. Volvo uh, doesn't compete in the balls, does not compete in the rings. Uh, you know, you see Jason and Tom showing up in everything, but you only see Volvo showing up where he can win. Uh, just beautiful and clean. Look at that. Can you see the difference? Well, the one difference is he's not dropping. Yeah. But uh, that combination move, then straight, straight from the 360s, right into body throws. Now, this routine he has is like worth 50 points. Now, he knows he can't do more than 10, but he's doing it all anyway. To quote him, just to be cool. Well, yes, that can only hurt him with deductions, but we'll see how it goes. Sure, look at that, the back crosses, uh... Oops, a little mistake. One of the clubs hit his shoulder, but he recovered. And then a whirlwind, all three clubs up, then a 360 under each club, and just a minor correction on that last catch. Yeah, I saw that. A three up 180, then a three up 720. Not very clean, this is a new move for him. Now up until this point, Jason Garfield was the only one who had been doing this move in competition. Now Jason trained Vova. Vova learned most of Garfield's moves, and now he's using them against him. And he's doing them better because he's had the benefit of proper training at such an early age. Right. Uh, look at that, right, ooh! Whoa. Yeah! <laughs> wow. Oh man, it looked like he was gonna pull it off. It was sloppy, and he had a lot of deductions, but oh good, he's gonna try it again. Now, if he gets this, this is a combination I've not seen before. Beautiful. Oh, amazing. That's a new combination. He's yeah. great at coming up with new ways of getting from one move to another. That's one of his specialties. He combines moves that most jugglers are just happy to get individually. And there's the four club triple single, doing them much better than Jason did them, but that's the result of proper training. Of course. And a very casual catch behind the back, trying to act like this stuff is easy for him, and it looks like it is. Well, yes, his body is very calm, but if you can see, when he does the harder moves, he does bite his lip a bit, but I don't think there's deductions for that just yet. And there's a 5 up 180. He's the first one in history to be doing that move in competition. Well, that was great. Okay, look at this. So now there's a 5 up 360 right into single spins. Most jugglers are happy enough to do just singles and call it a day, but he transitions into it after a 5 up 360, and then he does a 3 up 360 from singles, in singles, and back into singles. Through that whole mess, the club never spun more than one time each. Nobody has ever done that, even in practice. And he's competing with it. And he had one drop while I was talking, but who cares? Right, that drop won't affect him much, but now he definitely won't get a perfect 10.
Wow. Oh, man. He is just unbelievable. He's biting his lip. You'd be eating your whole head if you were trying this. <laughs> Now see, the five back crosses, even Volva gets a little sloppy there. And that should give you an idea of just how hard that move is. If Volva has problems with it, you know it's hard. Uh, he's going to do some six clubs. And so far, Toby is the only other competitor to attempt six. <laughs> Perfect. And he gets 14 catches, two more than he needed to qualify, but nicely done. Now look at this transition. All four clubs go up. He does a 360, one setup throw and then splits two throws up at once to change the timing, and then right into this beautiful four-club shower pan. And look at this again, a five-club, three-up, 360, all in singles from start to finish. The score for Volva Galchenko, 9.41. So we have Thomas Dietz from Germany in third, Toby Walker from Wales in second, and in first place, no surprise, with a 9.41 is Volva Gilchenko from Russia. So for the overall advanced club competition, Volva Gilchenko is the 2004 WJF champion in this event.
Gina Schwarzman, also from Russia, but now living in New York. Gina's not quite as shy as Olga, so she allowed us to interview her. My name is Gina Schwarzman. I'm originally from Russia, Rostov. I am a full-time professional juggler. I've been juggling for over 15 years. I practice from about uh, three to four hours, and it also depends on what show that I'll be performing in, such as for this occasion, I was practicing a lot. I would say uh, from four to five hours every day. Yeah, my interest will always be in juggling. I love it. Gina's 21 years old. She's been juggling since she was six, so she started practicing one year before Olga was born. But it shows, and of course, she's confident in what she's doing since she's been doing it for so long. But this is her first time in a competition like this, so almost every combination she's doing here is brand new to her, and she's only been working on them for the past week. Before this competition, she had no reason to do a routine with combinations as difficult, but just watch how well she pulls that off. And that's, that's the thing of a real professional, having such control over every move that you can just put new combinations together when you've got the moves under that much control. Right. I love this trick because it doesn't look that hard and it's really impossible, which for this kind of competition is the kind of thing you want. So with this routine, you'll notice, unlike Olga's routine, all of the moves are done in connection. Right. So far, she's combined eight moves together without any normal throws in between. Each move has gone right into another move. And we're all talking A, B, A, C combinations here, so she's getting some significant bonus points. Sure. Oh, man. Behind the back combinations. Kicking that club up straight into a blind catch behind the back. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's a great move. Now she's doing no spin on the clubs. And still all in combination. No regular juggling at all. This is just insane. Yeah, but now she's hitting the handles. This is kind of uh, circusy show busy right there. We don't care much about that, neither will the judges. Um, there's a shower with clubs. Wow. And the one-up walkover in combination with a three-up 360. Just completely solid. And still we're in the same combination, so all of these moves will be getting connection bonuses. Well, that was great. Back into flat throws and then to a two-stage 720. And finally, back to a few normal throws. But only four normal throws, and now she's on to her next combination. <laughs> and then finishing with a ridiculous spinning combination there. Hey, look at that, see that's so busy. Imagine Olga Gelchenko doing that exact move. Yeah, I just don't think that would work. <laughs> see, Gina feels good about this performance, she's very, very happy. Olga is still miserable. Well, Olga's not as confident in herself as she should be. She doesn't realize just how good she is. Of course. A little 360 there, but she won't get any bonus points for that. That was just for Star, because it was only one club. And the skirt is not even wrinkled. <laughs> now there, she puts the club back on her head while juggling five, and then continues to juggle four with the balance. Significantly more difficult than uh, just placing it there and then dropping into the juggle. Beautiful. Nothing looks out of control. Everything's just perfect. And uh, under the legs, which is a crowd pleaser for obvious reasons. And pretty challenging as well. And you just see this whole routine is a, an order of magnitude more difficult than Olga's, and Olga's was hard enough. Yeah, this is an amazing performance. There have been no drops, there's the five, there's the spin, and the yes at the end, showing that her English is getting better all the time. <laughs> Look at this combination. This is just unbelievably difficult. This is a D plus B plus D plus B combination. That gets her a full half point in bonuses alone, and just executed perfectly. I wouldn't make one deduction at all. That was amazing. Do it again every time in practice if you get lucky. Uh, the practice ones were a bit more perfect. More perfect? Yeah. On this one, I'm a bit more disappointed than the practice ones because my connection wasn't as precise as it should be, but you know, we'll see about the score. Well, the audience didn't notice. Let's see if the judges did. I certainly couldn't see anything wrong with it. Gina Schwartzman's score is 9.83. the final results of the women's division, Gina Schwarzman wins with an impressive 9.83. She is the World Juggling Federation Women's Division Club Champion. Man, that's a lot of words.
what I am most excited about. Uh, this is Olga and Volva Golchenko. Uh, to me, club passing is the greatest juggling. It's what I love the most. It's teamwork and skill. And these two are, uh, I mean, I hate to uh, beat the judges to the punch, but they're the best in the world. Also, look at that. Look at that showbiz. They could not care less. Uh, they're just kids, and they're already better than anybody else in the world. They're doing stuff that... Um, well, these throws you will see other people do, but I believe, having looked over their routine and seen them practice, they'll be doing stuff that no one in the world can do at all, and they will be doing it perfectly. Well, they started so young and recently had good training, so now they've just progressed faster than any other team that I've ever seen. Just look at how easy they make it look. Notice how it seems as the clubs just fly through the air and, and they're just standing there to catch them. And a beautiful transition into a synchronous back-to-back -back with 360s as well. And transitioning directly into asynchronous back-to-back, -back, one count. Yeah, that was difficult. Now this back-to-front transition is absolutely amazing. They switch positions right in the middle of the move. Most teams would be happy to just pull this off from one position. Olga and Volva do both. Then they go directly from one right into the other. Everything just looks so easy for them. And that whole back to back, back to front was all in combination, so they're getting connection bonuses there. <laughs> now they've transitioned into ultimate shoulder throws. They're the only team that have ever done that in competition, or otherwise that I've seen. And look at Olga, just pure concentration. Doesn't care about anything but the clubs. Now we're into uh, one count ultimate back crosses. And Olga starts throwing uh, oh, them as well. So she's on singles and he's on doubles for the timing. Wow. <laughs> A really clean performance there. Just ridiculous stuff. Everybody else might as well just go home. <laughs> Now here we are again, those ultimate double back crosses are extremely difficult. She has to throw under his throws and he has to throw over hers. The clubs are passing by each other on the same side, so they have to space them out just right so that they don't hit. Yeah, and she's, you'll notice she's throwing single spins and he's throwing double to get that height differential. Very clean, look at that, perfect. Must felt pretty good about that, there were no mistakes, is that right? Yeah. No one drop? No one drop. You feel perfect? Yeah. <laughs> the score for Volva and Olga Galchenko, 9.95. In the sixth club passing competition, big shocker, Olga and Volvo Gilchenko from Benza, Russia, who in first place with 9.95. They are the World Juggling Federation Six Club Team Passing Champions. We're starting with Olga and Volvo Gilchenko from Penza, Russia. They start out with seven like it's nothing. Now, Olga and uh, Vladimir are trained by... Um, Jason Garfield, he kind of does everything in juggling, and one of the best things he does is train. And uh, so he needs some credit for doing this, although I just think the raw material here is astonishing. Well, yeah, they're both prodigies, but without the proper instruction, their full potential could never be reached. Right. Now, all these tricks, these tricks with seven that they're doing, uh, most people can't do any of these with six. Uh, they do them really easily. Look at that. Just everything is comfortable. Now, watch the difference for, we've watched club passing before here. You want to watch the hands of the catchers. That's what's really interesting. And see how much they're correcting. Because uh, when the club hits the ground, which it may not at all with the Golchenkos, when the club hits the ground, you usually want to look to the opposite side from where it hit for whose fault it is. Uh, look at those throws are perfect. When Vova, he just drops the clubs right into her hand. And watch, watch as she does those catches. See, oh, well, she had to do a big correction there. I mean, big corrections for the Golchenkos. For anybody else, that would have just hit the floor. But Olga snags it out of the air like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Okay, both of them back to back. That transition, I haven't seen anyone else do, and I don't think anyone else has either. Uh, they invent these transitions. I believe that Jason, their trainer, just says, <laughs> now turn back to back and keep juggling. That may be <laughs> a lot of his input on this. You know, that's the gig I want, training these two. <laughs> if, we, if you saw them, you know, uh, a couple years ago, I saw uh, Olga and Vova, and they really are much, much better. What, um, 
what Jason brought to them was uh, the throws being better. They've always been able to save anything. And they seem to be having fun up there, as long as the clubs stay off the floor. You know, most jugglers don't even bother buying this many clubs. Well, they are $35 each. Oh, oh man, man, that was a four up 360 done by both of them. This is another move that no other team has ever done, along with all the other things they do that no one has ever done. Or even attempted. Oh, man. Oh, now this is eight. Remember, you probably can't count them. They're juggling them. You can't count them. They're doing eight. And they're doing, look at that, like nothing. Like they just finished brushing their teeth. Although Olga's a little happier. Look at that. Come on, Olga. <laughs> and so now they're moving on to nine clubs. This is the only trick I can do. Let me comment on it. Oh, right. Sorry. Now, nine clubs is a big deal. I mean, uh, I, uh, I did nine clubs years and years and years ago with Mike Motion. They're starting out with triples. And uh, now they're going to uh, doubles. And, uh, oh, come on! Now they're doing singles. Ben, did you and Motion ever do nine singles? Shut up! <laughs> yeah, they're doing nine clubs back to back just because they hate me. Did you and Motion ever do nine back to back? Shut up! <laughs> Oh, now they have do 10 clubs just to rub it in. Oh, yes, because they hadn't won by the nine club routine. Like, they could have stopped after seven and they still would have won. Just perfect form. A couple of little shuffling steps, minor deductions. Oh, yeah, well, I'll just kind of, okay, we just blah, 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 blah. I hate that. <laughs> There we go. There's that transition. Seven clubs back to back. Yeah, he stepped forward once. Vladimir stepped forward once. Amazing. But here's the most impressive move. Look at that smile. Look at the joy. Look at the happiness. Look at that. If she drops a club, it goes full speed in reverse. Never anything like that in the history of the world. Perfect. Okay, the score for Vova and Olga Galchenko, 9.86. Here they are, Olga and Volpa Gutenko, the 2004 World Juggling Federation 7-plus club team passing champions. 14 and 17 years old, world champions.
what I'm really looking forward to is after this gets on TV and after this builds up a little bit, the people here compared to the people being in the future will be like me compared to the Golchenkos. And I'm not in any way kidding. I think it won't be long before Volga, Volga Kilchenko is sitting in front of a camera going, I have no idea how they do any of this. No idea. I used to think I was hot stuff for doing the 10 clubs when I was 17, but now they, what they do, I, uh, I'm so glad I became an accountant. Thomas, you, how many back crosses did you get in the show? Um, tonight? Here? Yeah, tonight. 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 Uh, on the stage. Yeah. Uh, 40 back crosses. <laughs> yeah. With a keen finish. Uh, but it doesn't count because you didn't go back into the yeah. pattern. Yeah. So you, you didn't go back into the pattern. The, the easy pattern. So you got no points for it tonight. <laughs> I, I go back into the back crosses. No, wait a second. I target, I target 20 back crosses and then go back yeah. into the back crosses for 20 throws. You said that it has to be back Perfect. I did. That's baloney. You don't have to go back into the pattern. Yeah, those who can't, can't. say that. <laughs> What's the most amount of back crosses you've gotten with five? Me? Actually, it was just one week ago, 231. Oh, that's 231 five club back crosses. Yeah. Did you go back into the pattern afterwards? No, I dropped afterwards. <laughs> nah, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. It's got to be a clean finish. Back into the pattern for 10 throws, then stop. Okay. So I, I guess my record is probably something like 5 or 10. <laughs> Tim, you, you, you translate for me, okay? Yeah, okay. Um, you um, Shani, my Jonglier uh, partner, has sich uh, the Juggling Master 3 uh, DVD bought. Shanti, just his his juggling partner just bought the Juggling Master 3 DVD. And I have sie mir ausgeliehen und habe sie mir kopiert. And he copied it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and and uh, Juggling Master 2000. And Thales 2000. Very guy. And uh, Chucking Master Tool. 2000. And. Uh, <laughs> so it was just the first copy, not, not really. Uh, <laughs> so you copied all of them, is that what you're saying? Yes. You stole all my videos. I, I, uh, you stole all my videos, then you stole all my tricks from the videos. <laughs> and I, I have a shop in Germany. <laughs> So you're selling them. You stole them and now you're selling them. It's called the Juggle Master Shop. <laughs> Got a big picture of me on the wall? He copied the video, not, not really the video. He just copied the tricks and did it himself on video. Exactly the same like you did. Same video, only it's yeah. him in it. Yeah. The name is no, no I, I do the tricks on the stage. All right. <laughs> I, I saw the smile 2,000 times. Oh, juggling, yeah. juggling master three. Yeah, juggling master three. That's yeah. what he just said. Free or a three? Free. It was probably free. free. He probably copied it from somebody for free. Yeah. <laughs> An incredible experience. The best convention I've ever been to. You thought of everything. Um, 
I'll try to make it up to you someday. I laughed, I cried, it was better than cats. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that. Really? Yeah. Damn. Uh, it was something. It was awesome. No, it was something else. Loved it. Had a great time. I, uh, I met my new wife here. I was really, really happy about the whole thing. Thank you so much for organizing it, Ben. I appreciate it. all your work. Who? You're not Ben Jennings? Yeah. <laughs> I am not. Uh, Olga, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Airspace. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I want to do that. That's so nice. Yes. <laughs> It's a little frightening because, you know, I, I, if, I, if I post something to record juggling, you know, a few minutes later, people all over the room are reading it and, and you know, making gestures at me and, and stuff. <laughs> so I have to be very careful what I say. The high point of the convention for me was Gina's legs. After that, it was seeing a whole bunch of tricks I'd never seen before. So, uh, you did good, Jason. Hope this happens again. I had a lot of fun here at the convention. This was awesome. It was quite exciting. I'm, I would be happy to be back. I love Gina Schwartzman. <laughs> That's all. Wow. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Jason. Um, you try your four car back crosses? With, um, with, uh, with a hole and kicked the, the five car into five car back crosses. And uh, don't move your feet. <laughs> you can move your feet for the, for the kick up if you want. Well, no, I think that's a point <laughs> Your back crosses are perfect, you just gotta there get, go. there you go, woo! Nice, nice. Well, Six. qualify. Move your feet. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, Chase. Pound for pound, the talent quotient here is higher than anything I've ever seen. Best ratio of number of jugglers to freaking awesome jugglers I've ever seen. No doubt. Um, actually, this is one of the best times I've ever had at a convention. I wish I'd, my leg was slowing me up, but there was so much great stuff to see. I didn't mind not being able to juggle as much as I would have, so it was awesome. Yeah.
working too hard, Jason. Jason? Really, you think? Jason, think so. there's always next year. Who said that? Our, Albert Lucas, I believe. <laughs> Albert Lucas said a lot of things. None of it's true. He's full of shit.